This fella again. He's persistent. I'll grant him that. Hey! Get back here now! Going to attack! It's about to strike. This isn't over yet. It's up to no good. Wasn't your first, won't be your last. Aye, thank you. Shrines now? With bones? It's like Lady Blackwood's boudoir around here. How about a chant to reveal the past? Oh, there, fella. Looking nasty, aren't you? Nasty, yes. But also shoddy. It's very poor work. Are you sure we didn't miss anything? With a bit of luck, we'll find what we need.
Is it just me or? I felt it too. What is this? It looks like a butchered version of the ritual of lesser palingenesis. The ritual of that ritual? The one that brings someone back? That ritual? Yes, that ritual. In Shaw and Dras, the Toki Min Kurster. As flesh unto verb, as verb unto heart, as heart unto flesh. Death's knot is unsevered, and I shall cut it. Caleb Watson invoked a ghost without a body for it to inhabit, so it took his. Caleb is no longer Caleb. He got the wrong ghost too. He used pieces of his wife and also of his brother. Ruth, Alexander, Caleb could be any combination of them in there. Let's go find out which. Sure are we that the ritual will work? Caleb's work was poor. Your work will be good. Cold feet? My feet are fine. It's my gut that troubles me. The ritual shall work, and all shall be well. I promise. Too. Hush now. All is well. 
Nothing bad will ever come shite off. We've been to God's Acre. Quite a tale it told us. You're not Caleb, are you? Or at least not entirely. Ah. Can't fog you. Alexander Watson. Long tale short, Caleb tried to bring his dead wife back. And I live here now. So many questions. Where to even start? He was trying to bring his wife back. How did you end up in the mix? Caleb made a fine cobbler, a poor brother, a worse husband, and a truly terrible witch. The ritual went to shite, because, <laughs> of course he <it> did. <laughs> Do both of you share Caleb's body? Share? <laughs> no. This house of flesh is mine. But because I am a generous man, I allow my brother to live in the cellar. We were twins. I was the rotten half, they said. But who's the rotten half now? There's something else you should know, if you don't know it already. I'm not alone. I completed the ritual. My darling Ruth is in here too. You used the ritual to bring Ruth's spirit into Caleb's body. Why? Love moves a soul to strange endeavours. We deserve a better life. I set myself to claiming it. I understand your anger, more so your desire. But what of Ruth? Did you consider what she wanted? Caleb stole a life from me, but he also stole Ruth's voice. She shrank beneath him. Of course she wanted a second chance at life. I'd like to hear this from Ruth. May I please speak with her? No! We've carved ourselves out a little happiness at last. I'll not have you break it. Please, leave us alone. Give us this. We need to speak to her, one way or another. If he won't tell us anything, perhaps the house Ruth died in will. Caleb was no saint, but this is hellish grim. Does he deserve it? Aye, he does. And it's not like I killed him. He's alive in here somewhere. Watching me ruin his name. He can hear me now. Destroying his reputation. As I had to hear him destroy mine when he painted me a fornicator. Oh, nice. He took our love. Ruth and mine, and killed it. Now our love's reborn, and he can do naught but sit and watch. Caleb was a cad. Shite on him. Let him suffer. You died trying to save Ruth from a burning house. True. True. I'm sorry. There's an awful way to go, and so young too. You deserve better. We deserved better, and now we have it. And with it, Caleb gets to make amends. For he did nothing. He stood and watched us burn. <clears throat> Caleb's name was ruined then. We're just putting the boot in. You're well placed to see what goes on around here. Help me out. Have you seen anything noteworthy? I've made a point of keeping people away, but I, I seek things, and I take note. Lammy Haskell, any thoughts about him? The Haskell boy? What about him? He's weird. Talked with Caleb about nonsense. Both of them were full of shite. What's your take on the governor? My brother gave him the glad hand act and the governor lapped it up. Haskell's opinion of himself is far too high. To win his favour, you need only prop him up. He dragged my name through the dirt. Shite on him and his so-called eloquence. What use is a silver tongue when your heart is yellow? 
Tell me about folk here. Who stands out for you? What think you of them? What think I of they who shunned me? Gold, my, my black mouth brother. What think I of malicious fools for whom I had to die to be redeemed? I'd say a curse upon them. <laughs> but tis too late. The curse has already come. How goes the settlement, would you say? It's going to hell in a shitting handcart. Not that I care, mind. But there's sport in guessing who shall live and who shall die. Hope they find that witch, though. Can't have witches about the place doing the devil's work. I'll be leaving you alone for now. Alone? <laughs> Not really. Hush now. All is well. Nothing bad will ever come to us again. Ruth and Alexander are having an affair in her husband's body. I can't find an angle with that. Isn't it just plain wrong? Something feels wrong. Something about Ruth. If we find the ghost tie, we can talk to her. <laughs>